Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. I had a great one myself as I was up at PAX East over the last four days and just had a really good time up in Boston checking out the new hardware and games that were on show and also kind of putting faces to some of the names of people that I've been talking to over the past few years in the hardware industry. So great time at PAX East as always. But today we're going to be getting back into the swing of things, looking at some tech news. Uh, first, we're going to be starting off with AMD. Over the past few days, it had been revealed that there was going to be a 500X series of GPUs that had kind of shown up online after, if you go through the search results on the AMD website, you could find 500X listing. So we're going to kind of talk about that and kind of debunk what might or might not actually be. And also, NVIDIA is moving on from supporting 32-bit operating systems as well as Fermi GPUs. But as I said, we're going to be starting off with AMD. Now, this all started off with a Redditor who had posted this online because if you go onto the AMD product website and you search around, you can actually find a page for the Radeon RX 500X series of GPUs, which is not something that has been formally announced yet by AMD. So this instantly had a lot of people talking about it and saying, you know, is this going to be like a, another refresh for Polaris? We've already had the 400 and the 500 series on the Polaris architecture. So looking at this and also the fact that some other product pages have also been shown up online over on Guru 3D, they had broke this, that there were pages for a 580X, 570X, 560X, as well as a 550X. So this would appear that it's going to be kind of maybe a slightly advanced variant of what we had seen on previous 500 series GPUs from AMD on the Polaris architecture. Some people had speculated that they might have improved on the memory, maybe moving to GDDR5X or even GDDR6. But that seems like right now that's probably not going to be the case. I mean, it still remains to be seen, obviously, as AMD has still not made a formal announcement on this. However, it has been spotted over on Overclock3D.net. They found a 3D Mark listing for the RX 560X, and that has now been linked directly to an upcoming Acer Nitro 5 notebook, which is going to be using the RX 560X inside of one of their laptops, the 4GB GPU, and it's already shown up on the 3D Mark benchmark database, as I had said right there. So it seems like the whole 500X rumor that has been circulating over the past few days after the original Reddit post is probably not going to be a desktop variant, so I wouldn't really hold your breath for a 500 series revamp and X variants of the 580, 575, 560, and 550. It just looks like the X naming is what they are applying to their mobile Polaris GPUs for laptops and notebooks like this Acer, the uh, sorry, Acer Nitro 5, which should be releasing pretty soon. So that's really all that it seems that it is right now, at least until AMD can come forth and give us some further information on this. The 500X rumor that's been circulating around is looking like it's just going to be a mobile variant of Polaris GPU. So probably not too exciting, at least for anyone in the desktop space looking to pick up a dedicated GPU. You know, if you're thinking about picking up an X variant, once those become available, it seems like they are just for laptops. Next up, some news on NVIDIA and their product support moving ahead in the future. They have stated in the support plan for 32 and 64-bit operating systems that they will no longer be supporting 32-bit OSs and that they're going to be they're going to be moving into just 64-bit operating systems. They have said that for OS is like Windows 7, 8, and 8.1, as well as Windows 10, that they will support 32-bit through the end of 2018. So this is going to start to roll out in early 2019 in January. And after that, it's just going to be 64-bit operating system support. So if you still happen to be running on an older OS or a 32-bit operating system, then you're going to have a you're going to have a decent amount of time to get out there and actually upgrade your operating system and migrate over to a 64-bit OS. But you will have to do that if you want to be able to stay up to date with the latest security updates and everything from NVIDIA for your graphics card. And in this, they've also named the Fermi architecture of GPUs. So that's on the 400 and 500 series of desktop GPUs from NVIDIA. So quite a few years old now, and probably not many of you, if any of you at all, are probably still running those. But there might be a couple of you out there 
but you can expect it to no longer to receive game ready driver updates so you won't be getting the latest optimizations when new titles become available and bug fixes and things like that for those older architectures of GPUs in the 400 and 500 series specifically for desktop but the mobile variants of Fermi actually extend even beyond the 4 and 500 series actually as late as the 800 series in some of the lower end variants like the 820M is actually running on the Fermi architecture so it's that's not that long ago but you should be aware that if you are running those older variant desktop GPUs or something as high as the 820M in mobile then you will be losing support if you are running any Fermi GPU from the last three to five years or so, or however long Fermi's been around, you'll be losing support from NVIDIA on new game-ready drivers. You'll still be able to play games and things like that, but you just won't have the latest updates and optimizations, bug fixes, those kinds of things, and security updates as well for that architecture. So just something worth noting for all of you guys out there. And just quick side note, look at this picture over on Hexus.net for the GTX 590 from Gigabyte. Came with a mouse, it looks like. And look at this lockbox it came with. Why can't graphics cards come packaged like this nowadays? Like seriously, I would love to get a graphics card in a freaking box like this. That's freaking sweet, dude. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all we got for today on the tech news space with the RX 500X series of GPUs, which I saw a lot of people talking about. So I just kind of wanted to bring all the information out there let you guys know what it is what it isn't and what we can expect going ahead in the future and also just kind of a psa about the nvidia driver so that you are aware of it moving ahead in the future you're going to need to get onto a 64-bit os if you want all of the good support and if you're running a fermi gpu it just might be time to upgrade in more ways than one but i'm going to go ahead and get on out of here guys if you enjoyed this video or learned something new don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already, and if you have been here for a while, you can always hit that notification bell so you never miss a moment of content here on the channel. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another video. Tara.